fascinating to watch. Um, you know, it's so interesting, Elise Jordan, because the news last night seemed to swallow up Trump's rally. Of course, you'd want to cut to the rally to see what the president was saying in reaction to everything. But everything was so big that they kept cutting away, at least most of the networks I was watching, kept cutting away from him because there was too much important news. And yet, though, Elise, what you see there are lots of Trump supporters shouting, hollering, cheering for him. And the question is, this is his base, will the base be moved? Well, Mika, the short answer is no. It's very baked in as of now and is not going to change that Donald Trump is indeed a scumbag. Voters know that. They do not expect him to be the kind of man who treats his wife with any decency and dignity. And that is a known and isn't going to necessarily move the most hardcore voters. However, I would say that you have a lot of women voters who aren't exactly happy happy to have ever had to vote for Donald Trump in the first place. They just were not necessarily fans of Hillary Clinton. And while they might have voted for Donald Trump, this isn't the kind of behavior that makes them excited to keep supporting his party. And you look at the Republican Party, big picture, just how they have lost completely any credibility as a moral force for virtue as they continue to lie and deny that what Donald Trump has done is wrong. So as of now, it might just be political corruption. It might be campaign corruption. But you look at what there is to come and still looming, especially with Mike Flynn. And we still have no idea what uh, Mike Flynn, ha what he has to say, what he told Mueller's team in order to get such a great deal. There are so many unknowns that this is really just the tip of the iceberg.